Hi everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. Welcome to the KISS series, the Keeping It Simple with SQL, focusing on partitioning. Each of these sessions are quick introductory sessions into the topic of partitioning, but unlike other tutorials, these are focused on developers. In the world of DevOps, developers now have to understand some of the physical design characteristics of partitioning. In this session, it's time to take things up a notch. So far, all these videos have been talking about partitioned tables. But as we know, one of the things we generally do on tables is we add indexes. How do indexes work when it comes to partitioned tables? Here's where things take a little bit of a jump in terms of complexity. Let's return to our sales table, which has four partitions, once for each year. What happens when I create an index on that table on a column such as the customer? By default, when you create an index on any table, including a partition table, the index spans all of the potential rows. We call this a global index. It's a single index that points to every single row in the table, like a normal index, and that spans multiple partitions. Because it accesses every single row, we call it a global index. Typically, we partition tables because they're large. Therefore, if your partition table is very large, there's a very chance your partition index will be large as well. And in fact, it will be larger than a normal index would be on a non-partition table. Because not only do we have to store the row IDs, we have to store what's called an extended row ID, which points to the particular segment number of the partitions as well as the rows within it. So normally a six byte row ID would do. For a partition table, the index row IDs are 10 bytes. Global indexes can introduce some information lifecycle management issues when it comes to partition maintenance. If I have a global index on top of all my partitions, and then for some reason I want to drop a partition, for example, I may have archived some data off, when I run the alter table sales drop partition command for a particular partition, I've just taken a great swag of valid data out of my global index. By default, the entire global index gets marked as unusable. This obviously has implications when it comes to queries. For example, if I create an index called demo on my partition demo table, I can see its current status is valid. When I do queries to the demo table using that index, you can see the explain plan says I'm doing a global index access. However, if I drop just one of the partitions of my demo table, then the entire index demo IX gets marked unusable. What will then happen is that same query will instantaneously change from a index access to a full table scan. You won't get any errors because by default in all versions of the Oracle database from 10G onwards, the skip unusable indexes parameter is true. Therefore, we do our best not to return errors to the calling application. You can nominate to keep that index valid during the operation. You simply take your alter table command and add the update indexes clause. In this way, while we are clearing out the rows from the table via truncate, we go ahead and clear those rows out from the index as well. This is effectively synonymous with doing something like a large delete because we are painstakingly walking through every valid row in the index and removing it if it needs to be done. This is equivalent to a large delete. Therefore, be aware that you're going to be seeing a lot of undo and redo consumption in your database. We have improved things in Oracle 12C onwards. We have this facility now called asynchronous cleanup. What that means is when you go ahead and truncate that partition, rather than cleaning up the index entries straight away, we simply leave them in place. They become what we call orphaned entries. They are still present in the index, but when you perform a query, the database knows that those orphaned index entries are no longer valid. The cleanup work still has to happen, but now that is taken away from you as a responsibility, overnight a scheduler job will run and it will go and clean up all those index entries for you. So you'll still notice that large amount of redo and undo, it's just no longer in the current session. In the next video, we'll talk about an alternative to global indexes to help out with those ILM issues. Thanks very much for watching. You can get the entire video series on partitioning from the playlist or just head over to asktom.oracle.com slash partitioning for developers. And don't forget to keep it simply SQL. See you all soon.